Shalom, Kala Yahawa, Bashem Yahushai, Bashem Rukal Kadash, double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and mercy to the elect, with the house of David reborn again in this generation, and Shalom to the 130 Yahshua who today were known as the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, who before losing our true heritage, who were known as and still are the true Hebrew Israelites of the Holy Bible. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about Dictator Biden's recent mandate for getting the snake bite. Right? But uh, let's go and read the scripture first, and then let's get into that. This is Revelations 13 and 11. And I beheld another beast coming out of the earth, and he had two horns like a lamb, and he spake as a dragon. So you see, this scripture is talking about the nation of Edom, okay? How they're going to come onto the scene in a way where they're going to appear as a lamb. Right? As a harmless, friendly, your best friend, you know, creature, okay? Like they wouldn't hurt a fly. And that's what these Edomites, which is the biblical term for the so-called Caucasian race, right? That's what they come on the scene like, right? When you look at all the nations around the world, right, where the Edomites reign, right, where they rule... Uh, you got like America, Canada, England, Australia, New Zealand, especially, right? Uh, these Edomites are are now, which where they once were, speaking all softly and saying they're doing, they want to help us as much as we can, but they don't want to mandate anything and all this, all these nice fluffy words. Now they're speaking as dragons, right? Look at. What happened in Canada? Look at what happened in Israel, right? Now they're they're pushing out booster shots. They're boost. They're pu um, pushing out these unfair lo laws and regulations, so that way you can you you get coerced to take that snake bite, okay? And just as we've been telling you, right, where this has been happening in these other other countries. We've been saying that this is going to come here to Babylon the Great, which is what America is referred to in the Bible, right? So it is here now, people. So this is reality. It is actually happening, right? You live in this dystopian future, okay? This is where we are now. And we're, and we're telling you, it's only going to get worse. These devils, right now, right, with this, this dictator's um, mandate, Right, he said that now <clears throat> all employers of a hundred or more employees have to now, uh, you know, offer the uh, have to or have to request or mandate the jab or offer weekly testing. Right now, this is what I got to do at my job right now. Right, basically, I got, just got to spit into a cup, and that's pretty much it. But uh, th there's going to come a time. When some of these devils are going to try to, uh, you know, after the... Because this is going to go through, by the way, right? You already have some states, some Republican-led states, who are, are banding together and saying that they're not going to mandate this, which is good, right? But, uh, you know, that's just causing more division, right? And, and all the better, because, like, as, like the Messiah said, if, if Satan's be against Satan, then his house cannot stand, right? And this is only going to... To uh, speed up the process of the destruction of the Babylon the Great. But that being said, you know, for those brothers who live in California, like me, right, where it's a, it's a left-leaning state, uh, you know, California is all on board with with uh, the the Democratic agenda, right? When, when really, it's really just a Edomite agenda. No matter if it's left or right, it's the same. It's the same wing wings of the same bird okay now the thing is 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 that uh, these devils they they will eventually uh, you know get it passed regardless if, if it's not wanted in the state or not they're gonna protest a bit but eventually the protests are will die out that's how it always works right and or what's gonna happen is that they'll 
they'll come back on their words and they'll settle down for a less strict mandate. But nonetheless, a mandate will be, be established, right? Because these dragons, these dukes of Edom, uh, have spoken. And this is the law that they want to pass. Because again, like Apostle Kabar says, th they know that their time is running out. And they are, are, are rushing to establish their enterprise. And what is their enterprise? To establish the new world order where, like, it, like uh, Aaron Russo, in his famous interview with Nick Rockefeller, uh, you know, revealed that these elites, these these uh, one percenters, these Edomite dukes of that rule the world, they want to make sure everybody is chipped. And why are they going to do that? Well, because they need to claim claim ownership of your soul when the Lord returns. Okay, that's 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 the plan, basically, right? So that being said. We're going to start seeing more and more dragon-like mandates and dictates from dictator Biden. Okay? So get used to it, people. And this eventually is going to lead to this. This is Jeremiah 30 and 7. Alas, for that day is great, so that none is like it. It is even the time of Jacob's trouble, but he shall be saved out of it. Now, what does it mean by Jacob's trouble? Well, it's what this image here depicts, right? You're going to have a state of unlawlessness in the United States, in Babylon the Great. Why do you think uh, we've been seeing so many military vehicle movement on railroad all over the states, man? This is why they're, they're calling back some of the... Uh, some of the, uh, the troops from Afghanistan, man, because they're now going to police the, uh, the, the, the motherland, right? The, the, the fatherland, as I should say, right? Well, that's just, you know, what it is, people. And so pretty soon, you know, th like I said, this, these mandates are going to lead to, like, what you're seeing here in the third, third panel on the bottom, right? mass protests. People are going to try to stand up against this, especially Jake. Right? The Negro, Latino, Native Americans, we do not want these jabs, right? Because we know in our souls, right? Well, at least those ones that, who are, like, actively thinking, man. Because there's a lot of our people who are just dumb nitwits that, you know, just use their head for a hat rack that that, that will go along with anything that is told to them. <clears throat> but for the others, that you know that know something is up, know something just isn't right. You're gonna see mass protest from these people, right? And also, you know, it's gonna be on a large scale and a small scale, right? To the point where society is just is not gonna be able to run. And that's when they're gonna bring in the, the heavy hand of the military and the police forces, man. You're gonna see something similar to over there in Australia, where the police are cracking down more on people, right? You're not gonna be able to go out. Uh, you know, they're going to lock things down again. And eventually there's just going to be mass death. And like on the lower panel here, where there's going to be just death amongst the streets, man. So much so that they're just going to be tossing people out like trash. Like what you see here in the middle, man. A little baby being t tossed into the street like refuge. Right? We will get to this, people. Right? Either from, from people, being, people being put down by these, uh, you know, the, the authorities... Right, about, you know, Esau's goons, or from just basically killing over from the uh, effects of these jabs, right? Plain and simple. But again, this is the time that we are going to. What did the scripture say, man? That he is going to save Jacob out of it. Well, here's here's the uh, little uh, caveat to that, man. The Lord's not going to save everybody, right? He's going to save only a few people from. Uh, this Jacob's trouble that we're about to go into. Right? This is Ecclesiasticus 2 and 13. Woe unto him that is faint-hearted, he, for he believeth not. Therefore shall he not be defended. Woe unto you that have lost patience. And what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? They that fear the Yahweh Bashimashai will not disobey his word, and they that love him will keep his ways. They that fear the Lord 
will seek that which is which, which is well pleasing unto him, and they that love him shall be filled with the law. Right? So if you've been if you've been in this truth, man, then you're and, and you're sincere about this, and you've been studying to show yourself approved, and you have these laws that the Lord Lord uh, has been wanting you to learn, and and the, the, the teachings that here at Great Mills that we've been teaching, then you're good. Because what's going to happen is, you can see, all the world is going to be tested, right? Like it tells you here, right? Uh, it says, woe unto, it says, uh, verse 14, where it says, woe unto you that have lost patience. And what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? Well, you see, the Lord is going to visit all the world with this test, Okay, this is coming for everybody. Like it tells you in Revelations 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, and I will, all, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth. You see, the Lord right now, he's testing everybody to see if whose side they're on, okay? It's kind of like a like 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 having a girlfriend who gets her friend to try to make a move on you to see if you you're, you're going to cheat on her, right? That's basically like what's happening, man. The Lord right now is trying the whole world to see who they're going to side with. Are they going to side with with him and keep his laws and commandments, right? Keep the words of his patience, which basically says to resist the devil and he shall flee, to not take these jabs, to not take this mark of the beast which will eventually come. Right to to uh, to not bow down to these devils, right, and and their new world order agenda. Right? Are you going to do that, right, and and go through the affliction of losing money, losing your job, or simply just being harassed, right? Because there's going to be people who who won't lose their jobs, but you know that, but they're going to uh, lose money, right? Like truckers, right, independent truckers, people who you know are independent uh, workers, right? They'll still be able to work. But they're not going to be able to work with certain people, certain contracts, right? Uh, fucking people, man. I'm driving right now, Akim, and I'm dealing with idiots on the freeway. Well, uh, like I was saying, man, not everybody's going to come to the same sort of test. But nonetheless, everybody will be tested to some way or another, right? Some people are going to fold faster than Superman on laundry day when they get uh, pushed with a, a bit of of agitation man look at how many people have already folded and gotten the jabs just because the, they there was a threat of it being possibly mandated at their work right or you know their jobs just telling them you see these devils what they do man they, they they try to scare people man they try to scare people into compliance oh right before like for example for before biden's announced they said that Biden was going to make it mandatory for everybody and and you weren't going to be able to opt out or you weren't going to be able to do the testing anymore. But look what happened, man. Right? Look what happened. You got to basically, it's only going to affect the people with 100 or more employees, the, the, the uh, manufacturers, I mean the, the, the businesses, and or you'll, you'll, you'll have to you know show a negative test result. Right? Regardless, it's still a bad thing, but it's not as bad as what is being pushed out. Now, where does that information that gets pushed out, where does that come from? It comes from Esau, you see, because what he's doing is he's trying to scare people into compliance, right? This way, they don't have to force everybody in the end, right? And again, this is the temptation that we are all going to have to come up against. Don't worry what these devils say, man, right? They say they're gonna, you're going to lose your job, you, you need this to, to work, fuck it. Fuck it, find another job, okay? So what? Who cares, right? It's just a fucking place that you go to make money. There's, there right now are two million more jobs available than there are uh, unemployed people. Man, there's like eight million unemployed people, but there's ten mil million available jobs. There's tons of money to be made out there, people. It doesn't have to be at these uh, these jobs. They're gonna try to stick you, okay? This is Ecclesiasticus 5 and 7. Make no tarrying 
to turn to Yahweh Bashim Ashai and put not off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth, and in thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. Right? So you see, the people who are going to be protected, the people who are going to have the, the, the will to stand up against what these devils are pushing, are going to be those people who have come back to the Lord, have come and given their confidence in this truth. Because you got to remember, man, like, you know, if you're watching this video, you know, or like me, for example, like, you know, I have a perspective of, of, of this whole scenario playing out, this whole pandemic from a perspective of a believer, right? But, so I'm, I'm good. Like I, I said last, last uh, week in camp, you know, during this whole pa pa pandemic, I've been chill, man. I haven't been stressed. You know, I'm a little, I get a little anxious here and there when I hear certain things. But for the most part, everything's been good because I know the Lord got us, right? I know what's going on because I, I know the script. I know what these devils are going to do before they're doing it, man. So when they come out with these other mandates, they come down with these restrictions, these lockdowns, I'm not surprised. I knew it was coming. I've, in fact, me and the Akium. I've been saying it's coming, right? But now, I think about the, the perspective of the unbelievers, the people who don't know this truth. You know who's, whose narrative they're, they're depending on? Whose every word that they're hanging on? It's Esau's evil dragon-like words, right? The, oh, we're gonna, just two weeks. It'll just take two weeks. Oh, until we flatten the curve. Okay, until we get the elderly vaccinated. Then, well, we can't go back to normal until everybody's vaccinated. Or no, until we get herd immunity at 70%. Well, now that we're at 80%, we need everybody to get it. Well, now we're going to need a booster shot, right? And all this type of shit, man. You see, those people are are uh, are being victimized. They're being mentally tortured, right? There's a, there is a, what is it? It's like a technique. When you're interrogating somebody, you basically you you, you deprive them, you beat them, you 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 uh, treat them horrible, right? And then you give them little benefits here and there. Some and so what this does is that it basically breaks down the person that you're interrogating, right? Um, over time, and over time they see your little non-aggressions or your little you know. Um, shows of mercy as as a blessing right and they end up liking you they end up uh, attaching themselves to you this is where you get Stockholm syndrome from man you see this society right now that are in Esau's narrative who, who are not believers they don't have the Lord to defend them because they have nothing else to stand upon right they have built their foundations upon sand and right now their houses are crumbling right but us Right? You out there, you believers in the truth, right? That have come and, and managed to be let into this truth of, uh, of, of, of the Bible. We have a, a foundation of, of stone, right? The foundation based upon the Messiah, Yahweh Shai, right? Which is Hebrew for He is salvation. We understand what's at, at stake here. We understand what these devils are doing, right? So, you know, Kahalai Yahweh Shai for that. So, that's about it, Akim. Let me see. Yeah, so that's it, Akim. You know, we're going into some heavy times, right? This, these dragons are speaking and uh, only expect it to get worse, right? But again, rejoice because this means we're now at the end. We're living in those end days and the Lord now is visiting the earth and all he's doing now is finalizing who gets in and who gets kicked out, right? So don't be that guy who comes into the wedding feast without a garment, right? You need to build yourself up. You need to get these uh, teachings these of, of the Bible under your belt. You got to understand them, right? And, and pray, 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 right? That the Lord keeps you from these, these temptations and he protects you and shields you from the, the, the wickedness to come upon the earth. So, till the next time, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahshai, Bashem Rukal Pradash. Double honors to my teachers, the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Peace and mercy to the elect. 
Shalom.